Well, members of the State Assembly's Judiciary Committee meeting today to go over the findings of their impeachment investigation into former Governor Andrew Cuomo. Well, this as a lawyer for the ex-governor is calling on New York's Attorney General to recuse herself from the probe. Sharon Crowley is here now with details for us. Sharon? Yeah, a lot of new developments today. The State Assembly Judici Judiciary Committee chair tweeting that he plans to make the findings of the state impeachment investigation public very soon. Now today, former Governor Andrew Cuomo's lawyer also held a news conference demanding the AG recuse herself from any investigations related to the governor. Cuomo's lawyer, Rita Glavin, sent a letter to the AG's office requesting James step aside. Glavin says James has a conflict of interest because she's running for governor of New York. Glavin also believes James has not been an objective investigator because she wants Cuomo's old job. She must recuse her office from any future decisions involving her August 3rd, 2021 report about allegations of sexual harassment against the governor. She must recuse her office in any investigation, and the current one she has, about alleged misuse of state resources. Well, Albany lawmakers are reviewing testimony from hundreds of witnesses related to allegations of Cuomo's sexual misconduct. The Judiciary Committee is also looking into whether the governor improperly used state funds while writing a book last summer. A state ethics commission has already rescinded its approval for Cuomo's $5 million book deal. The commission says Cuomo used state employees to help work on it. Cuomo has maintained that state workers did so voluntarily. Now, Glavin also wants an investigation into a grand jury leak about a groping allegation against Cuomo. We have reached out to the attorney general's office to get her reaction to the former governor calling for her to recuse herself. We've not heard back yet, Lori. I'll send it back to you and Steve. All right. Thank you, Sharon.